Okay, I just recorded two 40-minute sessions. This here is my YouTube recording of, 23. of Ron Hans. Prior to that, he spoke for two minutes. It was a bus stop. I just... When you see this, watch. Here, watch that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you real quick. Yeah. But I've isolated Ron Hans. Just remember that timeline. Real simple. In short, he spoke from May 2023 from April 2023. The racing phone contacts, that's how he did it. merge shit too. Remember the sev September 17th or December 27th motion I filed that was not indexed properly. Page three was missing. Things were upside down. Page three had all my hackings from, okay, in I'm from India. In okay, so real quick. Guys, this is the first time I've had any witness any of this in my entire life. Yeah. Real quick, while I'm recording my YouTube channel, I have Facebook playing in the background, my recordings from Ron Hans. So I'm sitting here listening to the recordings so that you could hear it on YouTube because it's not letting me do certain things on Facebook. My Facebook account is hacked already, but I'm listening to Ron. I've got literally and a minimum 50 people. And I'm pausing it. Pick up every conversation. And commentating. Just bear with me. I just press play again. So Ron's talking right now. I'm, I'm listening. But you can't hear Ron talking, and it's blasted loud. Let's watch. This is what India has been doing to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm listening to Ron right now. Listening to Ron. I don't know how they do that. They cut out to so Facebook and YouTube must not be able to record so it's, it's, it's somehow i can hear it auditorily but it's omitting anything from facebook i'm not so again it's messed up and i can't put a link but anyhow we'll start here you hear that let's repeat that okay so i'm going to get rid of the youtube channel and i'm going to do what i just did it's going to take about a half hour. Hello. Hi, is Ron in, please? This Ron? This Ron? This Ron? Hello. Hello. Hi, is Ron in, please? Yes, he's speaking. This is a. Uh, this might not be a good time to talk. I hear a lot of chatter in the background. Is there a better time to call back? Oh yeah, business. Like I said, this is business related, Ron. How are you, sir? But uh, I want to talk to you, Ron, about administrative accounts in Wix's. My designs are getting shifted, Ron. Are you my administrator, Ron? Are you are you an administrator for Wix? Are you an affiliate of Wix's? Do you have an affiliate program, Ron? Yes or no? I do. Am I one of your accounts, Ron? You know who I am, Ron. I do have full access to all those sites. So you have access, you have full access to accounts that you're administrator of, or uh, and, are, and, they, other, and other accounts as well. So, so, what is the disclosure process on on be uh, on having somebody above you having access to your accounts, Ron? I just need to act around the back, so. Okay, are you chat? Are you calling from Wix? Are you Ron? Ron, you know my voice very well. Ron, are you Chad Garson's? And um, is he underneath you? Yes or no? Oh, dude, I didn't even recognize your voice. Oh yeah, I know, I know, Ron. How busy you are. Ron, are you 
in any way associated with my Wix accounts in any way, shape, or form? Yes. Did you ever go into my account without my permission, Ron? Yes. Okay, when's the last time, Ron? I got a week ago. And what are you going into my accounts for, Ron? You know. I have no idea, Ron. I didn't even know you're my administrator, Ron, or whatever it's called. What are you talking about? You gave me all your access, dude. Okay. Nuts. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, Ron. Okay, Ron. When would that have been, Ron? Before you went to jail. Before I went to jail, I gave you access to what? To all your Wix accounts. To all my, how did I contact you, Ron? You called me at this number and you sent me an email. I sent you an email? Oh, Ron. You called the police on me, Ron. I was trying to schedule a Zoom call, Ron. But no, Ron. I never sent you an email. I never spoke to you, Ron, before jail. Wonderful. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I'm so happy. And what was the, um, how did I know you were my administrator, Ron, at that point? Uh, you did. You asked me to be your administrator. Oh, I asked you to be my administrator, Ron. I did? And, and what kind of duties did I ask you to perform for me, Ron? Why don't you just ask me to take over the admin and to log into your accounts? Oh, Ron, Ron, remember from North Coast Behavioral Health Center, Ron? See, I see the game, Ron. Remember, I, I did, Ron. I did. I did. I asked you, but you told me there was a cap shawl. You're not going to do it, Ron. And before that, that was from, that was, Ron, six months after I was in jail, Ron. My brother left the phone. But so, Ron, prior to that, so you were in my account a week ago, Ron? Yeah, you asked me to. A week ago. Oh, really, Ron? I asked you when, Ron, to go into my account. About a week ago or less. About a week ago or less we spoke, Ron? Ron? Are you there, Ron? I got him. I got him. I got him. Thank fucking God. No, let me tell you something. Never sent him a fucking email. He was one of the reasons. Him and Jay Rotenberg were one of the reasons. Why I escaped Florida and got away from everybody. Ron's making up phone calls. Oh, you don't remember me? Yeah, about the chime thing? No, never spoke to Ron. Not one single time. I'll tell you the last time I spoke to Ron. 2019, he sent me something to send to Movement Mortgage. He thought I was telling him what I was doing. He said, oh yeah, send it. It was a Trojan horse. Real quick to clarify, Ron's like, yeah, man, I got this uh, proprietary info. It's like a list of all this real estate things. Yeah, man, I'll send it to you. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's too many uh, MBs. Yeah, you got to like here. Let me send you this link. Mm -hmm. Download this link. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, it'll let me, and I forwarded it to these guys. I just looked at it briefly, and it wasn't anything close to what he said. It was complete bullshit, public information. But anyhow, go ahead. But no, from... The last conversation I had with Ron was a conference call with Sean Springs in around April or May of 2020. No, I haven't spoken to Ron. And no, I spoke to him from North Coast Behavior Health Center where the calls were recorded. Remember Jared Barrett? Oh, go daddy, go daddy. I gave him my passcodes for a potassium muffler. Okay. Gave him the passcodes. Uh, no more commentary. We want live video. But no, uh, you can't send an email or a text from jail. That's what it was, a forensic center. He was calling up my doctor uh, without my knowledge. She kept telling me she didn't know about any charges in Florida, anything. But Ron, I finally told him, don't call me again. It's the second time I told Ron to stop calling me. Why do I call him? Because he knows Wix. And though he picks up, he's my stalker, but no, um, he's been harassing me from outside with harassing phone calls to public defenders, any attorney of record that's posted to the public, doctors, my family members, my uncle Stuart Garson, my brother Adam Garson, and a whole bunch of other people. But next one, bear with me. Again, repeating steps over and over. Here you go. No, I didn't. Yes, I didn't. No, I didn't. Again. Very good. Enjoy. Stop. 
Hey, Ron, real, real, real quick, Ron. Can you forward me that email, please, and, and your phone records? I'm begging you, man. I must have a mild cognitive impairment. I don't remember, Ron. Can you forward that to me? Do you, is, uh, what email did I send it to, Ron? What email did I send it to you at, Ron? I don't know. I'll find out and I'll send it to you. Okay, what are the possibilities? What emails would I have access to, Ron? I don't know, dude. I don't know if it's email or text, whatever it is. I'll send it to you. Okay, Probably. and this was a week ago or so, Ron? No, this was like before you went to jail. But you said that we spoke a week ago, Ron. That's what we spoke ago. Yes, you did. Ron, let me ask you something. Before jail, Ron? Before jail, I asked you to do what, Ron, on the email or on the text? What did I ask you to do, Ron? I asked you to log into all your accounts. Into all of my accounts? Ron, I only have one account. I only had... No, no, Ron, let me explain something. No, you had Tom Sawyer, you had uh, all the different wordings. You had like 10 different websites, dude. Yeah, all in one account, Ron. All in my one admin account. So anyhow, Ron, Ron, let me ask you something. Ron, Real quick, Beisenbach versus Doe's. Northern District, California, San Francisco area. I read the case law on this. I searched specifically for certain things. It took a long time. But your admin for your G Suite account, which is your Gmail as well, can access your cell phone, erase contacts, divert phone calls, block phone calls. My most trusted allies their numbers were deleted from my cell phone i went through six cell phones prior to my arrest i was scared out of 40 hotels hang-ups to my room all my systems were hacked again out of a thousand emails brand new email addresses at hotels lobbies everywhere less than three percent response and again if <laughs> thousand phone calls i'm not exaggerating only people Call me back, leaving messages for this creep, Jay Rotenberg. And I caught my brother on recording as well. He picked up twice. I called him twice. He picked, but no, again, good numbers. Since my father passed away when I was 19, 31 years ago, I've called my brother, say on average, three times a month. That's over a thousand times in 31 years. He's picked up less than five times and returned my phone call less than 15, but my brother speaks to this creep. Doesn't tell me, but I confirmed it. Thank you. Real quick. So before jail, Ron, so that would be early 2021 or late 2020? Maybe. Okay. Okay, so you were in my account a week ago. What were you doing in my account a week ago, Ron? I said I was in my account a week ago, five weeks ago. Oh, no, you said... I'm an, I'm an administrator. I was in my account. You called me, whatever. See, if you're not paying attention, he just confused me. <laughs> but no. Rewind and listen to how many times I isolated, identified for absolute. He was in my account, mm -hmm. doing things in my account a week ago. I called him a week ago. <laughs> just pay attention. You'll see. Before you went away, he asked me to log in. He asked me to help you out. I told you it blocked my access and eventually let me in. And he told me, don't worry about it. But I said, okay, all right, just to clarify, I sent you an email or a text for sure when we had that conversation, correct? 100%. And was it, did you tell me something about a Capshaw run? A Capshaw came up and you didn't want to enter my account? No, I said that the, it was blocked the first time. Check your messages. If you look at your text messages, you'll see. Oh, 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 Ron, was that from, oh, okay, Ron. All right, so again, I would, you know I don't have my cell phones, Ron, because you've been cellular, but you know you don't know IMEI tracking, Ron. But let me ask you something, Ron. So you went in there. My, what was my intention for you to go in there? What was I asking you to do from memory? You asked me to log into your account to see if I can log in because you couldn't. Okay, and what did I ask you to log in for, Ron? Because you couldn't log in. You said your access got blocked. You got blocked on all your websites. You asked me to log in to see if I can log in. Ron is pretending like now that I would call him for administrative purposes not one single time ever. I called him because he was all my other contacts were blocked 
from the forensic center, the jail, the mental health jail in Cleveland, which I was sent to illegally. No hearing, no nothing, and caged for six months and 20 days by a doctor named Jared Barrett, who lied to me about her credentials and got to mention she was also a JD. She graduated law school. She's not an attorney, but she kept blaming things on the legal department. Uh, meanwhile, they were voiding all my phone calls. You know, you can't send texts or emails from there, but Ron had said he couldn't get in and I knew it was a lie. So I called him back. I said, Ron, don't call me back ever again. And I got a handwritten message that he called the next morning, terrorized in this place. Yeah, but Ron is not a good con artist. I've barely paid attention to him over the last 30 years, but he lied to me every time. I could care less, but I didn't know what he was doing to me. I didn't know he was a stalker, had an obsession, and you're listening to somebody, and I'm trying to tell you this is a poison in my brain right now. I don't want to listen anymore, but it's almost over. Again, listen, uh, no, I never authorized him. He's acting as if right now, that we've had email conversations that he's assisted me. He's never done anything, to my knowledge, in my account. I never authorized him to do anything. The one time I did ask him to was to put a credit card down because someone had hacked my banking information, and um, I needed to put a credit card in so that my domains wouldn't expire. Okay. Also, firstfedfunds.com, my company that I was branding for 15 years, I was locked out of GoDaddy. I checked on the Whois database. It was owned by a company called Hans Lemka, H-A-N-S-L-E-M-P-K-A. It was purchased at Namebright in Colorado. And Ron, I, like, I said, Ron, is that you? In my ears, I thought, trick me. But he said, yeah, man, you're just irresponsible. What? And I didn't go back on anything, but I just heard what I needed to hear. But Ron tried to kill me, is what I'm trying to tell you. I think somebody sold futures on firstfedfunds.com. I was researching while I was on the street, but still had my computer. There's a company in the Melbourne, Orlando area called Hartwell Fixtures that was assigned somehow associated with my account. Raymond Motes of Obsidian Mortgage had embedded my name in his website. And his new uh, like manager, his name was Jace Rivas, allegedly from New Century Financial who I represented in 2007, a uh, public company. And Jace supposedly is Hasidic and can't speak from sundown Friday until Monday. Okay. I busted Jace Rivas, completely fake human being. And uh, Ron Hans, I don't even think can read Hebrew. Where's a yarmulke in his Facebook post? But um, again, he can't speak from Friday until uh, Monday. But again, these guys are fake people. But Ron's been stalking me, tracking me, putting people in places. My, let's say, 20 most important contacts. Most had been erased from my phone. Buy Zumbach first dose. Okay. Of the people whose numbers I have met by memory, I can't get through to them. I've been to their weddings. I don't owe them money. I've done nothing to them. So my contacts are on a border list. Okay. So their normal calls come in, you know, the wife, but mine is on a delay. It goes straight there. If I leave a message, if it's a fuck you message, they will let it through. If not, I'm talking to myself. I've been isolated. I've been trafficked. White collar exploitation ring. Ron Hands, if not the leader, one of the leaders. And that was it? So did you grant me access to like a new password, Ron? Did you ask me? So I asked you to go into my account to make, because I was locked out. So you got into my account, and then what did you do, Ron? You told me to leave it, and you would resolve it. But I was locked out. You got in. Did you give me Did you give me a password or something, Ron? No, you gave it to me. But so you got in. I didn't think I got in. Okay, what year was this, Ron? Ron, what year was this? Whenever before you went away. Listen, I don't, I really don't have time to talk about this, but I want your information, dude. Before I went away, Ron, okay, I see, Ron. Hey, Ron, real quick, Ron, real quick, real quick. What would you, okay, let me ask you, because you're a professional. First of all, I didn't speak to you before um, I went to jail. I spoke to you from North Coast Behavioral Health Center, Ron, where you can't text or email anybody, Ron. It doesn't work like that, number one. 
that's when I told you I needed you to update some credit card information because my accounts were half run. And then you told me something. I said, you know what, Ron? Just like 2019, don't ever call me again. You called me five times in a row, Ron, in 2019. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ron. Oh, my, oh, oh, oh. Dude, you always call me. I don't even know how to count. All the friends you have, Ron. All the friends. All the people look up to you, Ron. Everybody that you're friends with, Ron. All the 420s on your side, Ron. Okay, Ron. Okay, Ron. No, 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 Stop or you'd have them come get me for what, punk ass bitch? For what, bitch? No, dude, tell me what they come get me for, bitch. You really asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you, bitch. So, stop calling me. No, Ron, this is business. You're my administrator, you bitch. Stop, call, stop calling me. Oh, what's going to happen, Ronnie? What's going to happen, you? What's going to happen? You're going to be visited. By who, Ron? By who, Ron? It's a threat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker. He's going to get have a hard time in jail. A real hard time in jail. Oh, yeah. Torture. Torture. Torture my brain. Diverting my emails. I changed something. You changed it back. I changed the email to come You changed it back. Real quick. When I say that, I didn't know until just right now, this conversation, that it was him. Real personal. My let's do it for Marty on Prevental Dental. Put a lot of time into that. Like three years of thought to get my business plan on one page. Do you think, in quotes, the last thing I put in there was capital L for let's? And then lowercase m for Marty. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, these are little fucking punks that have been stealing from me, torturing my brain, laughing at me, I'm stupid. <laughs> so happy. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go here. The last one. Remember I told you I'm in fear for my life? You understand? But the rest... Yes. Ron, who are you going to send after me? It's Chad Garson. Who are you going to send after me, Ron? Who's going to pay me a visit, Ron? Who's going to pay me a visit real quick? Stop talking. Ron, who's going to pay me a visit? If you need something, let me know. Otherwise, it's... Well, yeah, Ron, I need money, Ron. You want to send me some money? Ron, I need something. Ron, do you have money to send me, yes or no? So why do you ask me if I need something, Ron? What would I need from Ron Hands? No, Ron, how do you know Mark Glassman? How do you get in with Mark Glassman? Are you speaking to Grant Dinner? Are you friends with Grant Dinner and Adam Mesnick and Jay Rotenberg, Ron? Yes. Did you speak to all of them? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay, Ron, let me ask you this, Ron. Let me ask you this, Ron. What do you think in art? Like, what happens to somebody that steals art? Greater value than four hundred dollars, I'd say. Is that a felony, Ron? I don't know. Ron, Ron, if you copy back in somebody's HTML or duplicate somebody's site without their authorization, is that theft, Ron? Yes or no? Probably, but you don't Ron, 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 if you go into somebody's house without their permission, is that breaking and entering? Yes or no? Have to stop calling. Ron, is that yes or no, Ron? I don't have to stop doing anything, Ron. You can call the police and give my phone number, Ron. I'm identifying myself, Ron, you fucking faggot. I'm a stalking specialist, you, you fudge back and faggot. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ron, Ron, have you ever copied or duplicated any of my sites, Ron? Yes or no? Have you ever duplicated any of my sites, Ron, or sent them to another portal? Yes or no, Ron? Of course. Of course? What do you mean, of course? You don't have ownership of my of my sites, Ron? Nobody does. Do. How do you have ownership of my sites, Ron? Did you sign them over to me? When did I sign anything over to you, Ron? 
signal before you went away. I signed what to you? In what form, Ron? What are you talking about, Ron? You're going to have to go through your records. No, no, Ron, you're going to have to provide the information, Ron. What email did it come from, Ron? What's that? What authorization form? What email? So you've been selling my, my designs, Ron. That's an art heist, Ron. I don't have to do anything, Ron. Ron? Ron, or around or about what date, Ron, did I give you this authorization, Ron? 2020, 2021, 2022. Ron? It was before you went away. So, so, 2000, so 2019, 2020, 2021, Ron? You can have that, bro. You can have back They're yours. No, no, Ron. Ron, you sold my template designs, Ron. I don't want anything. But Ron, you're going to jail for a minimum of 20 years, Ron. Ron, I have more questions for you, Ron, but it's going to be in a deposition, Ron. I'm sorry, Ron. I never authorized you. You have no confirmation. You have nothing. We had no conversations, Ron, prior to jail, Ron. The last conversation we had was around April of 2020. I was at the Best Western Plus in Deerfield, Ron. Ron, have you talked to Sean Springs recently? Yeah, I spoke to him. Recently. Have you spoken to Sean Springs recently? Yeah. Within the last 90 days? Sure. What do you do with Ron? What do you do with Sean Springs? And you see, sure. What do you do with Sh What do you do with Sean? What's your business with Sean Springs? So I introduced you to. What's your business with him? Yeah. No. You spoke. You spoke to him in, in April of 2020, Ron. When did you speak to him ever besides 2020, Ron? Yes or no? You ever speak to him in 2019, Ron? Have you ever spoken to Sean prior to April of 2020, Ron? Yes or no? Chad, the answer is yes. <laughs> These guys have been poaching my contacts from LinkedIn, blocking people from sending me solicitations, blocking uh, my contacts on Facebook. So I've isolated Ron. Do you have any idea of what he just submitted to? I've isolated um, Ron Hans a zillion times, but like, my brain is twisted every time I do something, it gets erased. I'm violated something. Uh, but again, you heard my numbers. I've isolated Adam Mesnick as well of Delhi Board, San Francisco. I've isolated Jay Rotenberg of Boca Raton and Grant Dinner of Solon, Ohio. Do I want them back? Again, he thinks everyone's stupid. Do I want a duplicated? sites that he sent into his own portal and resold over and over and over each site if i sold it individually be 30 and 50 thousand plus about 2500 monthly upkeep you can press button i can duplicate my site a thousand times a day change pictures this and that but i do the specs everything he's going in and changing moving so i'm concentrating on this while he's already duplicated the perfect version this guy's going to prison for a long fucking time keep in mind this is real and this is part of what's going on. People that say they're web developers who have guys that do this and guys that do that or are administrative. Again, this guy has been on my account since probably the day I opened it. Um, I'm wasting my time. They have cells in the back. So they put up like blockages. So when I'm trying to design, I can't do certain things. And there are certain things that always make my thing that way, that way. I'll duplicate a box. Let's just say a note card. I'll duplicate same exact dimensions. I go back in, one smaller than the other. I've been dealing with this since 2019, and I thought it was the portal. I called Ron a couple of times. Ron, hey, let me ask you something. Um, you ever have an issue on yours? Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's just the, it's just the update. It's shifting. But he wasn't my. I mean, I spoke to him twice, maybe. But he couldn't help any questions, so I stopped calling. Him. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But uh, I believed him initially. It didn't make sense. Like they pushing me towards Apple. I don't know what's going on. But um, I, introduced, I introduced him to Sean Springs. I played football with him in high school. And Ron had never told me he spoke to him. I told Ron, I told, asked Ron for two years, just call him, just give him a call for two seconds. Just trust me. Um, he's got a good pro. And now I don't, and I don't then I, when I introduced him, uh, I noticed some things on the conference call. Um, this is how Ron lies. I said, um, he said, oh, Sean, who do you play for? I said, yeah, I knew Sean. Oh, who do you play for? Uh -huh. When I was sending Ron the text, I wasn't going to talk to him. Couldn't hear his voice. Had spoken to him roughly a year. I was sitting on Mark McHenry's house at his house at 4651 Liberty Road in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. 
and I sent Ron a couple group texts. Charlie Kempinski, attorney at law, was on there. For some reason, I had a feeling that Ron was stealing my clients. And I started isolating, connecting dots, and it got really scary. But uh, Ron wouldn't return my texts. Finally, I started pounding him on the texts. Martin was on the text. He didn't even know it as a witness. Martin gets a call, and it's Ron calling Martin, not me. Hey, uh, are you with Chad Garcia? You know Chad? I said, yeah. And Ron says, hey, you guys from Florida? We're sitting on Martin's couch in Cleveland. I really don't know Martin that well. But uh, again, I had a video, Social Security. I just got a new computer, a race for my computer. You know? But um, so Ron was in my account immediately. But yeah, Ron's a bad guy. He's, he, that's how he lies. And um, he's a bad guy. But uh, I'm happy I caught Thank this. God. Love you. Anyhow, big day for me. Big day, and I'm praying to God now. I'll connect this and put this on YouTube right now. It's funny because YouTube posted that immediately. But the volume is impossible. Literally, that loud. So I had Facebook here, and I had And I just heard somebody get out of my computer. I keep hearing that noise in and out, in and out. Um, hold on. Remember. It's supposed, you're supposed to hear audio here. So imagine, imagine somebody who can see through both eyes, being in with all blind people. Get your family involved. You just can't call the police. It doesn't work that way. It's a misdemeanor, but 18 times. So again, hearsay claims a threat, no evidence ever, but it sounds so outlandish, so fucked up. So that's the backstory. This is the recorded calls. See, right now I'm chilling out, having a cigarette out my front door. Facebook is blasting right now, so. Okay. Anyhow. Six months prior to my arrest. Okay. I have enough here. I'm uploading. Thirty-three.